Hi, this is Thundee from BorderWalk.com and today I'll be doing a full review of the T-Mobile G2. I've had it for a couple of days and um, uh, we'll show you how the device works in and out and all that kind of fun stuff. So quick overview of the hardware. Um, this is the G2 itself. You can see it has a very solid metal and some plastic but solid metal build all across. On the right hand side you do have your volume toggles and you have your mini USB port. The back of the phone, you do have your 5 megapixel camera with uh, flash, and the speakers are up here on the right. Now, um, on the right hand side, uh, it's only one button, which is the camera button, but you do have this lever which opens up the battery tray. You pull that out, so you see it falls up. Your uh, SIM card goes in there, and of course, your uh, SD card actually goes at, at the bottom. You just close this back up. It's very easy. Uh, front of the device, you do have four touch sensitive buttons, which is your home, your menu, your back, and your search. And you do have a optical touchpad, which actually clicks down, um, and also lights up. As you can see there, it's lighting up, which means you either receive a message, text message, uh, email, or, or what have you. So this is where the notification light light up is. Um, on the top of the device, you do have your uh, power button and your 3.5mm jack and again it's a slide out keyboard so it slides off and you can see it's a four row keyboard with action keys which I'll show you and the now famous Z hinge which I can try and bring into frame there so you can see clearly uh, very solid works well so, but I will first things first how is the keyboard keyboard um, might you might you know take some time to get used to it just a little I think but it's very easy to use. It, the buttons are well spaced out, works very well. Um, to switch to the numbers, you actually have to double tap on the Alt key. Uh, and then you have the programmable buttons. I have one button program so far, which I can hit that up, and that brings up my fantasy football. But you can set that up and put different uh, applications there, which I'll show in a second. Head back to the home screen, so we'll close this up. Uh, some people have said this looks like a Nexus One. In, in some lights with a keyboard could be the case. I'm just going to bring this down a little bit more, closer look. So the first thing you notice, this is stock Android 2.2, which you can check out here. We head into the settings, rotate that back, about phone, and see Android version 2.2. Um, you can, of course, you can also check for system updates, which there are none at this point in time. Going back, this is your very simple stock Android view. Uh, thing to note, of course, is the applications. You can actually save applications onto your SD card, as it says here on SD, what's running, what's downloading, and all. And I have a couple, just two applications, two things saved on my SD card, um, which you can access and run from there. Um, so going back to the home screen, now the device is very fast and zippy, so uh, even though it's running at 800 uh, megahertz with the new Snapdragon processor, it runs very well, um, and it's been very, very smooth, uh, almost no lag on anything whatsoever. Uh, the app tray is the um, Rolodex style fashion, so you can actually scroll through as you can see the animation. It's very, very smooth, so overall, I mean, the device itself, uh, it was what you would have expected from an upgrade to the G1, you know, for the G2, what you're looking for. And um, everything works out pretty much well. You still have your, you know, uh, slide out, um, you know, notification bar. Um, again, like I say, it just works very smoothly. Another thing to look at is the camera. Now, uh, the camera still has the stock Android camera um, uh, option. So it doesn't look like your um, Samsung Galaxy S, which has it more... I guess stylized uh, view. Your settings for the camera actually on the side here. So on the top, you do have your settings for you know call effects. The next one is actually for white balance. So, you know you can change it from auto to daylight and things like that. Your flash mode on and off, which you can set for recording, and your recording mode. Now at 720p at at um at um a five megapixel camera, but it doesn't actually say it. It actually gives you options here. So you get HD. You got high at 30M, I'm sorry, you can pull that up again, low uh, MMS uh, quality or YouTube HD, which is due to 10 minutes. So these are the different options you have for your camera recording. For the camera itself, you still a couple options. There's actually the zoom, which you can zoom 1.7x times. Um, of course, turn your flash on and off, keep it in auto. Your white balance, um, you do have store location off, basically geotagging. 
and you do have your focus mode with auto infinity or different exposures you can select from so it's simple uh, we'll take a few pictures and video will add to this um, some things to also look at with the device um, is also with the different um, uh, home screens you can actually just tap on the right hand side it will bring out a prompt where you can jump to either whichever screen you want to so I can jump to the last one which has my slack of radio um, and you know move on from there now let's get, take a quick and good look at the um, action or the quick action prompt button which I just hit by mistake and how we can set that up so if you go back hit home you hit the menu button you go into settings and you scroll over and you I believe it's sorry on the quick keys so you head into quick keys and you now assign fantasy football 10 and 1 so the second button which would be this one here I can assign something else uh, you can either go through your widgets labels um, or to more applications so I'm gonna go into here applications let's see what should I put up here okay King James Bible throw in the Bible over there and it's done so you hit that button starts up the Bible there you have it very easy very uh, good so let's use. take a good look at uh, T-Mobile's or at least a quick look at T-Mobile's new high-speed network which is denoted with the H sign which means HDSBA so which means you're on that network but uh, just a word of caution I'm in the Boston area and we are not part of the original cities that actually have uh, this network up I believe they're probably testing here so it might not be up to the standard speed so this is a non-scientific test on the network and we'll just see how fast you know the browser works with uh, this network so um, open up the browser let's head into I'll see Latina review because it does have a lot of pictures from flash so a lot of things to load up and we'll see how that goes and um, wow it's pretty quick um, I would say it's still loading yes yeah, about five six minutes or so loads pretty well um, of course pinch zoom and all those other features are there um, yeah so that is just a quick look at how the uh, high-speed network affects the phone and device which means you'll be downloading your apps much quicker downloading things much faster and things like that um, overall like, again like I said the G2 is a solid device the build is very very good um, I like the fact that it just feels like a uh, solid phone it's not the old plasticky feel of the G1 uh, just give you a quick comparison this is the uh, G1 next to it mind you of course I do have the extended battery here so of course that's a little skewed but if I um, actually just take the battery out Um, product depth wise it's you know it's probably will be a little higher but as you can see a clear difference just in design and style it gives it a more pronounced and more professional look and just a better looking smartphone um, overall I would say the G2 is a solid device uh, as a T-Mobile customer it's a great buy if you want something with a slide out keyboard which I do works very very well and the keyboard is just I think the best slide out keyboard for any phone right now in the market be it an Android phone or any any other thing um, if you're looking to switch to T-Mobile and you want a solid device this also is something for you overall I do like it I think it, um, it works very well uh, it does everything as it's built it's supposed to and um, so yeah if you guys have any questions or comments so just want you to know more about the device let it let me know uh, and I will love to ask you questions so again this is uh thunder e from border work don't forget to subscribe to all our pages youtube facebook twitter and just also just hit us up on the website so this is thunder e from border work saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment